End of turkey season, 2019. William Hovey Smith. I am the author of Extreme Muzzleloading and other outdoor books. I'm also the author of Create Your Own Job Security, a new business book that advocates that everybody should start their own companies when and as needed to raise money as they require it. My newest project is Father of the Grooms, which is a novel, screenplay, and movie that will be written, researched, and filmed 2019 to 2024. And interestingly enough, many of you may participate. This is Hobie Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And we are now engaged in what is to be my last turkey hunt of the year. Uh, we are now in May. And the hen turkeys have already started to nesting. So they are leaving their toms. The toms are now out looking. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, so they have come down from their roost. I've just arrived at the property. And on this property, we have built two homemade blinds. And I have a video about how those blinds were built and installed. And so we're going out with a full court press this morning. And we're going to sit in one of the blinds here and then pick up my stuff, although we'll leave the blind in for deer season, or coyote hunting, and then hunt two places on my property. But we're gonna be exercising all of our new equipment, including big boy here with his new fan, which is installed. We also made a new stake for it, and so that is being employed. I'm hunting with a black powder rifle, so we're carrying muzzle-loading components with me. We also have a turkey vest here. The gun is a Lyman deer stalker, a flintlock. And so it has been loaded ever since the start of turkey season, now a month, and will be discharged and cleaned today. We're deploying our new stake that we built, and I pivot there on top for a big boy here. And hopefully he's going to attract some attention. At the base of that pine tree in the center of the photograph, uh, you'll see a dark spot. And that's our blind. And we have now deployed our other actors here. The beautifully seductive Hindretta here. And the rakishly handsome Andre. So now we go to our blind and we await developments. We are now at our homemade blind. And it hasn't been hunted since I was last here uh, by us humans. However, its utility has not escaped the attention of a certain spider whose web you can see right there. And yeah, he's, he's in his little cave there in the corner. And he's unfortunately connected to our chair, but we're going to try to disturb him as little as we can. He's actually coming out to take a look now. He knows there's something out there. We now have our decoys deployed. And that's, of course, a big boy out there. And then we swing around from the blind. And we look over here, and barely visible by the side of the tree, in the direct center of the photo, is, of course, in Retta. And then Andre is right over here. So we have our, our decoys out and we are ready. Going to start a little calling now and see if we can get some response. Not going to be too aggressive. Call a little bit, wait, call a little bit, wait. That's going to be the strategy. Natural sounds that we'll hear, those of crows and geese. I haven't heard any gobble responses yet.
and we'll do that about every half hour or so. Well, we have returned. And like most turkey hunters, we did not do anything this trip at this location. However, we have two more to try today. And of course, uh, we carry our usual amount of stuff around with us. Now, if you didn't get a turkey this year or haven't yet succeeded, don't despair. Because one of my sponsors, Sin Incorporated, Synthetic Industrial non nutritives Inc., has a turkey for you, and especially for the 4th of July. They will offer a red, white, and blue turkey. Now this is made of the finest of petroleum, coal tar, and agricultural waste byproducts. And it is red, white, and blue in honor of the occasion of our national anniversary. And this you'll be able to get at any store. Now at Sin, we claim that this has no particular nutritional value. And if it does, it's purely accidental. And in addition, it does not need to be neither refrigerated nor cooked. It can be served hot or cold, chilled, sliced, or unsliced. And comes in bone white or glop gray. In addition, in preparation for football season, we have another exciting announcement at the end of the video. My friend who owns this property has only been out with me on it once, and perhaps has turkey hunted it maybe once in addition, although I'm not even sure about that one. He has, in his older years, now in his 60s, become absolutely obsessed with sex, but not of the type you might expect. Uh, he is extremely interested in the intricacies of the sex lives of bees. He, over the past several years, has worked towards becoming a master beekeeper, and now has a number of hives, of which this happens to be one, and these bees look like they are getting ready to swarm. This, in a, this looks like an unusual amount of activity, even though it is a warm, sunny day, and there's plenty of blossoming stuff out there. Uh, this looks a little suspicious. So I'll let him know that, yeah, uh, Maybe he wants to do something with this hive before it does swarm because he really wants to split them and, of course, establish new hives and so on. Its companion box actually died out. The varilla mites got it, but this one is a strong, strong hive, and it, yeah, it survived well. We're now in a built-up stand on the second food plot. Uh, many of you have seen this food plot before. When you last saw it, it had not grown. But now that we're in spring, yeah, the grass and the clover is coming up. There's a little red top out here. There are a few wild oats. Uh, most of this, however, is grass. And I have uh, Henri and Henretta out there. And we also have a mechanical decoy. Robotom, and we'll see if he works. Yes, Robo Tom is working just fine. We'll stop him about there, I think. And now, there is a little breeze that will move the other decoys, but it's not strong enough to do terrible much to them right at this second. 
till we sit and wait. I'll call a little bit, see if we can get something in. Well, in my food plot here, there's Helga and some scattered wheat and oats and red top clover and another clover is already gone to seed but I don't see any turkey sign so I'm not even going to bother to set up here I don't think it'd even be worthwhile so we're going to take our repaired turkey decoys home and put them up and come back in deer season because of the pressure of other work I've now ended my personal turkey season. Although we still have about 10 days of legal season left in Georgia, I just can't participate anymore. So, this is all my junk, and it gets put away. This was what was in my truck. And there is one item here that you may notice is not in your usual turkey hunting equipment. In fact, a snow goose decoy. As it turned out, a friend was selling off his household stuff, and this was among it, so I bought it today. So it was in the truck. I haven't thought of a way to use it yet whilst turkey hunting, but if you were in snow goose country and snow geese migrate in the spring, who knows? It might be a confidence decoy. So all this junk now gets put away. And this episode has been brought to you by Sin Incorporated, Synthetic Industrial non nutritives Inc. And for the coming football season, Sin is pleased to announce a modification of their mascot series. Now you can get self-heating mascots. In short, you can get your Georgia Uger, your, your Bulldog, and have him made out of our special material glop. And under its tail there is a ring. And you pull the ring, ignition takes place on the inside, and it becomes pleasantly heated. And you can get the salt, sugar, and butter taste that you crave and something right there on your tailgate. Now we also have, for the Florida fans, the Gator. Now the Gator is unusual and it's available in three sizes. Two feet, four feet, six feet. So you can have one that will suit your every need. Again, soof, woof, eats, and you eat. So remember, for the latest in food technology, SIN, Synthetic Industrial non nutritive Inc. And now we have one more thing to do. That is, unload my gun. I have a suitable backstop over there. That has been loaded since the first day of turkey season. Okay? But now this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Among my outdoor books that discuss turkey hunting are extreme muzzleloading, backyard deer hunting, and crossbow hunting. My new business book, Create Your Own Job Security, advocates that a person start their own businesses perhaps as early as high school. Then in college, take some business courses, start your own business, get your specialization, go to work for the man, but in the meantime, you run your own business quietly in the background. So, when you're in your 40s and later and become suddenly unemployed and have great difficulty in finding new work, you already have your own business going and running. My newest effort, Father of the Grooms, is a novel screenplay and movie that will actually take place between 2019 and 2024. 
Uh, part of it will be in the U.S., in San Francisco, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, Louisiana, and other parts of it are going to be in Sicily. And in fact, I depart for Sicily uh, shortly to research the project. Now, in this movie effort, I am going to need some help. I need, for example, input from people who live in Sicily, obviously, and that's why I'm going. I'll make contact with people who produce movies and with students and see if we can work on getting some of the things needed for the movie. This will be a Godfather style of movie in that it will feature an American family who takes their two sons to Sicily in order to get them brides. And their adventures and misadventures with the Italian mafia, which actually puts them in danger of their lives. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 750 videos, you can go to www.hoviasmith.com. For more information on my business books, you can go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. Now, for information to see on how you can participate in Father of the Grooms, and many of you can, you can go to fatherofthegrooms.net. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye. And God bless.